All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the trapezoidal rule to numerically integrate in Excel. And so we have our formula here for the rule. We have the function we're gonna solve for. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. And I recommend you make this table first or these three columns first. And so first we have to uh, write down our bounds. And from the function, we know that our bounds, uh, we have to integrate from zero to three. So we just write down zero and three and f of x is just evaluating this function here five plus three cos x um, with the given x value so replacing the x here with whatever is here and so we start by uh, this five plus three times cos x right x replaced with zero there and there and we just uh, drag this down here because it's the same thing the formula is the same it's replacing now the x with three and so with that, we can use the formula here, which is b minus a, and b is our upper bound, three, right up, and our lower bound is a, which is zero, so just b minus a times f of a, which is this, evaluating the function here at our lower bound, zero, f of a, plus f of b, divided by 2. And we get this, which is basically it. We got the answer for the uh, integral of this function. And if you compare this with the analytical answer, it's close that it's at 15 point something, but it is a bit different. Now there's another way to solve this um, function using the trapezoidal rule, but uh, slightly adjusted. And so instead of evaluating the function at 0 and 3 right away, we evaluate the function at smaller points and then uh, take the sum of the integrals. And this is what I mean. So instead of 0 to 3, let's say we start at uh, 0 to 0 0.2, right? And so um, basically we evaluate this function at smaller points because numerically, numerical methods are basically estimations. If you make your estimations more uh, close or tighter, basically, they just give out more accurate results. And so here, at 0 0.2, and then let's um, say we evaluate at 0 0.4. So it's gonna be this plus 0 0.2, so 0 0.4 and so on. So basically, we just uh, drag this whole thing down here up to three. And of course, because we're evaluating from zero to three, it has to be from zero to three. But this time we evaluate this at smaller points. And so we just drag this down here. Uh, whoops. And not to make this confusing, let's unhighlight this. And basically what I've done here is that, look, I've integrated from zero to 0 0.2 and here 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 and so on and so forth. And um, as I've mentioned before, integrating at smaller points. And here, the reason why this is negative is because it's, well, Excel is just evaluating at a imaginary point and you can't do that. So we have to always delete this bottom point. But basically, since we're evaluating from zero to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, 0 0.4 to 0 0.6, we're evaluating at smaller segments. So we have to add all the values of these segments because um, basically we want to integrate from zero to zero to three. So we just sum all of this up. Oh, whoops, sum this up. And we get the value of our integral, which is now 15.42. And if you compare it to the analytical answer, it's much, much closer uh, where it's at 15.42 something. So this is a more accurate way to actually use the trapezoidal rule. Uh, that's it for the video. Thank you.